Welcome to Wells. My most favourite spot for charity shops. That doesn't mean that you can all run there and steal all my goods, okay? That's bad. Don't bad, do that. Bad, bad. No, there's plenty for everyone. There's plenty for everyone. And they restock every day because we go every day, don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, we literally go every day because it's so close to where we live. Um, so we basically went, I think we went... Ourselves have been very steady. I know everyone's have been different ups and downs and it's not the quarter for we expect it, etc. But considering we sell majority clothes, we're doing okay. Yeah, it's been good. Um, But the one thing that we sort of are selling through quite obvi- obviously quickly is bread and butter stuff. So we actually went out with the main aim to find sort of like what I call fintid fodder, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like, uh, see, like literally what we're showing now. Sea salt, stuff like that. Nice bit of sea Hush. salt there. Um, Austin didn't actually show me that piece, so we'll just blame it him. It was a small top. What do you mean it was a small top? As in it was a short top. It wasn't like a schmuck. It wasn't like a dress. It wasn't anything fancy. Oh, but you still didn't show me? No. Okay, hum. Same as that mint velvet there. Okay. Um, but I'm the that confident. Th- Forget the, about it. The one thing he did choose to look at was a teddy bear knit. Tell me that's not amazing. You love a teddy bear knit. It's, I do. It comes from Ralph, doesn't it? It does. Your little Ralph obsession. I am. Um, so that was the aim. So See, that I'm... was a dress, and that was fifteen pounds. Well, is it corduroy or like velvet? It's like you know that it's not cord. It is kind of corduroy, but you know, it's like it's like not deep, like you know, like, like deep mole skin. Yeah, like like that kind of. It's a texture to it, as opposed to deep kind of corduroy with the kind of ridges. How lovely! Um, that How was, lovely! That was fifteen though, which I think is a little bit too yep. much for. Um, Sea salt. Uh, this is a beautiful red cardigan from our friends at Mint Velvet. This had a few pulls. And a few pulls. Um, I'm not big on picking up Mint Velvet at the moment unless it's sloganed or denim. I'm not really, you know, jumping at it. I wanted to show you, they, they put the docks here in the chair shop. I love the chair shop so much. They put the docks in a uh, cabinet, Doc Martens that is, and they had a really nice pair of cotton uh, floral, size seven. They wanted £35, which obviously isn't a, isn't a huge amount. You still can make movement on that. However, it did have a um, tear to the front toe of one of them. It was like um, a scuff, yeah, but it had actually taken away the, what do you call it, like the actual print and the actual fabric. Yeah. But if you're looking for Dr. Martens for yourself, and I know this is obviously a mainly retail channel, but if you're looking for Dr. Martin for yourself, that is a great charity shop to pick them up in. They get so many. I was just going to say, I don't think there's just a time I'd be in that shop where they haven't got a pair of... Sometimes they've even children's, but like Dr. Martin yeah. boots in the cabinet at yeah. all times, yeah. And they're between about 30 and, and £40 pounds most of the time. That's what I'm saying. We swapped roles today. We swapped gender roles. Austin's doing the ladies and I'm doing men's because, I, you know, I feel like you're deprived of the ladies section a little bit. Tell us something funny about this dress, Beth. I, um, so this was one of the first ever things that we picked up um, when we started reselling. What a horrific thing to pick up. Do you know what? No, I thought it was really fun. I thought it was no. really kitschy. The, the actual item I love, I still did to this day, I think is great. My only issue is it ha- it didn't sell till when? It didn't sell. And then I started going for a death pile recently and I put it up and it sold. And I just thought that's so That's funny. why I pulled out and kind of... This is a Rohan underlayer. I was doing men's seat. And this is a Dolce & Cabana underlayer. Um, it is from the underlayer underwear collection however it is very wearable as a standalone piece it's got yep. a little crest on it there. it has some wear and definitely has some bobbling which we need to sort out but at seven pounds it's a steal it's a deal it's a sailor that can century that's actually from lock stock and two smoking barrels is it i've never seen yep. that film austin anyway so we <sighs> put the underlayer back because it had a pen mark on which austin said he could not get out this is a hush knit and it's in a nice little lilac color which i think is a uh, is a colour people wear like all year. It doesn't like it's not seasonal based. Anyway, it was four pound. I can't say no. I can't say no for the vintage people's. Yeah, I, I agree. Like we were talking earlier, actually, and even something like that. If you, even if you even if you were to double up, worst case scenario, yeah. and you make like eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, whatever, like you're gonna make some money on it, and uh, it will sell. It, ju- it just will. There's, there's some brands which just sell on vintage specifically, 100%. or on eBay, obviously. Cash flow central, isn't it? Now I come back from the men's again. I'm obviously rocking the men's section, as you can Hard. tell. So I found this polo. Ralph Lauren, which everyone knows that we don't pick up a huge amount of, even though Austin is a die-hard fanboy. Why do you pick that up, though? Because it's 100% lamb's wool. It's not shrunk. It is a little bit bobbly, but we have a debobbler, and it was only £4. This piece is from a brand called... Uh, Beaumont and Blake. I'm gonna put Beaufort? the logo up. Be- Beaumont. I have Beaumont? got. I have got sickness, so my like accent is like 
gone. You yes, right? you yes. Yeah, anyway, you so they make really good swim shorts, and we found swim shorts before from this brand, and Just they have a really little well. elephant on them. This is obviously from the same person who really enjoys a navy and red colorway. <laughs> a lambswool specifically. Yeah, a hundred percent lambswool again. Retail on these jumpers is about one hundred and fifty to one hundred and seventy five, and yeah. it was three pounds. Based on the fact regular kind of what I call sweat and crew neck cotton, um, Ralph, like that, yeah. goes for probably like, what do you say, like 100 plus now? Yeah, yeah. Um, 90 to maybe 125. The lambs will, if for sure, is is big money. So know, for great, that money, right? pick it up. Yeah, for sure. And I would advise you as well that if you haven't got a debobbler, to buy one because you can get steals on bobbly stuff I, just I, to debobble. I honestly would say like the amount of, the amount of uh, as seen stuff we bought really cheap. Oh, yes. we were going to talk about this. This is Alice Templey. But it's made for British Airways as uniform, and that is not what you want to pick up, Just guys. flip the, flip the tag to make sure that it is or it isn't the And I was showing Austin this. This is, this is labelled as RLX, but it's not RLX. Ralph have, like, a performance range um, called RLX, um, and there's loads of kind of, it's spawned loads of kind of like this TLX and there's loads of different ones, but this is actually called RLX, um, and it's not Ralph. It's It just... So, so be out. careful out there, It's just kids. not Ralph. Be careful out there in the trenches. It ain't Ralph, though. It ain't Ralph, though. And then Austin was meant to be doing the women's wear, and I was just dawdling around, and I found these shoes. No, I, at this point, I was paying. £4.50. Well, you were meant to have done women's wear, Austin. So you meant to have already seen these sea salt chucker boots. Which would, which would retail for... I don't know. I put the I put the retail up and I put comps up on these because we've never picked up sea salt shoes before. But they're so cute. They're the cutest little things I've ever seen, and they got barely anywhere to them. So they were either incredibly uncomfortable or um, small or too small, maybe too know. large. Who knows? Do you sometimes why are we guessing? Why, yeah. Do you sometimes wonder why people donate? Yeah, well, I don't. No, no ever, not but... not not as in why do they donate? I know they donate because it's a good thing to do. But you mean why why they donate certain items? Like what what is the I don't want to wear this anymore. Will I never wear this yeah, again? I've never I like worn to this. Think about the people behind the items and oh, then God. I don't anymore. Austin found loads of Al low alpine. Which I love to buy because it sells. And do you know what? Some lovely person left a comment the other day say, and we were saying like this always sells for us clothing. Yeah. And they actually they actually told us something we didn't know, which was very interesting to find out. Rab actually are as in the, the people who make the really killer expensive coats own the brand now and they actually sell only uh, low alpine only sell uh, bags and accessories now don't sell clothing and that is if you go on the rab website you'll find their like their accessories their bags their kind of fanny pack stuff like that but that's why the clothing goes so well they no longer make it fascinating fascinating but no all joking aside that was a really good piece of information there was loads of it here the reason i didn't pick any of it up it was all really 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 bobbly which annoyed my soul yeah it was all snagged or had issues it was kind of that stuff i don't know what you call it it's not it's not polyester but it's kind of that stuff which just yeah. like the old kind of tracksuit material this, yeah like skags easy yeah um so we left that one by but they also had this it's a i assume it's the same person it's a mar marmot mm. under layer um, no, it's not. It's an upper. It's, it's, layer. it's, it's an, an outer, but it's like it's, it's like a, a light, a lightweight kind of like not yes. fleece, but like jacket. It's not a jacket by any stretch. Newer tags, thirty pounds. Um, I don't think there's enough in it for us personally, um, but it's a nice thing. Um, this was Fred Perry. We don't pick up a huge amount for Fred Perry, mainly because we don't find a lot of Fred Perry. But I like to pick up the more unusual pieces. I know a lot of people like the Amy Winehouse range, um, but I find the people that wear Fred Perry are really hardcore vibe. fans. Yeah, like they're vibers. Yeah. I would also say ladies Fred Perry. I don't know why, but it goes really well. There's a whole yeah. culture of like ladies Fred Perry. I sold like a sweater vest with a hole in it the other yeah. day for like 40 quid. Like I'm not even kidding. It's mad. It does do good things. Yeah. yeah. I thought this was really cool with the FP on it. Um, Even though it's a short sleeve cardigan, which I'm personally opposed to. And, it, and it's so random as a shape, I as a piece really of clothing. Cool. Um, I think I can see someone wearing it, styling it, profiling it. Do you see what I'm saying? I see exactly it what was, you're saying. How much was it? I'm going to have to keep six. remember. It's six pounds, and we're probably asked about 30 to 40. If I don't say any of the numbers or anything, just at me in the comments because I just like my oh, mind. Oh, I forgot we got that. That's a nice one as well. My mind is sponge. That, that was me and M. It was a layered sweatshirt shirt basically looks like that you have a sweater on with a shirt underneath six pounds and i'm gonna ask 40 for it i'm gonna try for 40 this was another piece of selfish mother the last video the video before that we had some selfish mother this is an older version of their their classic slogan t-shirt sweaters jumper. jumper sweater whatever you chose to call it um and they still do they still good 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 money if we pick them up only thing is that one had a mark on the arm um, and to be honest, we've been finding it in abundance. Now, Cos, I only normally pick up Cos if it's cheap. However, this is exceptional. You pick this up, Cos. 
because it was so heavy. I can't... They had two hangers in it. If you look, they have two hangers holding it up. The quality was exceptional. It's eight pounds, but I'm going to go high. I'm going to ask 50 to 60 on it. It was also like new condition. It was just fantastic. Quick side note, talking about Ralph. This is like what they call the, the um, uh, it's the over overworked polo. So basically, if you look at where the, the buttons are and the side panels where kind of the arms, the armpit, if you want, um, they basically have lots of overworked cotton. Uh, even in the split hem, you, I don't know if I show it. Yes, I do. Um, they have like a separate piece, which kind of basically makes it more rugged and more tough if you want. It was what I'd call like a cross between a rugby and like as in a rugby shirt, a rugby and a regular polo shirt. Um, they, they do go quite well. They go better, slightly better, I find, than regular polo shirts from Ralph. Um, some of the logo ones, they're a bit kind of, I don't know, like five, ten years ago. But, but for collectors, they are they are a thing. Um, people like wearing them. It's a very specific person. But um, this is a Sonia by Sonia Ryko, uh cardigan. Uh, a little bit of an oversized leopard print shindig there. I think it was 6 50 I just expected to get about 45 back for that one. Um, and then we went into our last shop. Look at this. Just look at it. You've we, spotted we, it. Oh, I've spotted we it. saw it. As oh. we came through the door. Boom. Oh, this is a Eve Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Um... You just used a tea, didn't you? It's a oh, I can't. It's a Mac toggled. It's le it's leather edged. It's just dreamy. So this is why you should pay up for the right pieces. And a lot of people are like, oh, sometimes you pay up, sometimes you don't. All this, all yeah. this rubbish. Um, sometimes I won't spend three pound on an item. No. Some spend at times I'll spend a hundred, no problem, because the right item for the right money. And it's what we do. So this is Saint Laurent. This is a seventies tag. It is a full length trench coat. <laughs> Um, with leather toggles, it's also belted. Um, I would estimate we well, pay thirty pounds for it. I would estimate a return of three to four hundred pounds. A side note as well: a couple of years ago, uh, YSL basically rebranded as Saint Laurent, um, and they um, they used this kind of a, re a version of this tag on t-shirts as like a slogan, yes. uh, which was really really popular and kind of iconic. So if you ever see that and think, oh, that's seventies, no, that's new, but this is old, old, old as they come. I was in like the sleeves. I look, look, look at this sleeve. I don't know. I'm picking no, my bag you up there. Showed, you <laughs> Do I? Yeah. yeah. So the sleeves are like, they're vast. That's all I can say. So we were looking at this. Um, we, well, we weren't looking at this. We bought this. And then I think that Austin picks up something else. Let's talk about those first. And then we'll get back onto the convo. So Austin found these Rohan uh, walk-in trousers. How cool are these? These are old, old vintage Rohan. Like Cute. old, old, old. They were really thick. They were like... They were like wool almost, but not wool. No, uh, they were like neoprene. Like, yeah, the inside like, was rough though. Like, and they were cropped. They were cropped. They had. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you catch. There's. A, there's a bottom logo as well. All the. All the zips had logos. It was just like just a really. They almost look like the label looks like I, I, like what I'd call a cheap knockoff. But the actual thing was like just it was oh, look like look, 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 a lining. I it's mean, insane. Interesting to know if anyone knows anything about these because they wanted twelve pound for them and we didn't pick them up because there was some um, there was some damage in terms of there was some paint on them. There was paint. Um, and there was I think a scagging as yeah, well. But we couldn't make a life decision on them because they were pretty. Cool. So if anyone knows anything about this real technical Rohan gear, yeah, there's a logo that I was, I was talking about. Yeah, um, because it's very interesting to me. And they were so thick. It, what, like I say, it, it, they were they were obviously a real serious kind of piece of Do kit. Something. If you know what I mean. Anyway, so we were looking at these and we were dawdling around. There's another one and the manager of the charity shop showed us this Mulberry Company coat that she just put out for 50 but I did have some uh, moth and uh, storage damage. And she said, there's another one you might be interested in because she noticed we had the uh, Yves Laurent. So Sniffer Dog McGee got on the case. Yeah, and obviously we know this lady, we've had many dealings with her, and she brings out this. Look at that for a dream. Oh, my goodness. So this is like what I call proper 34th of Miracle Street. What's that, Th Christmas Th film? Th 34, Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, yeah it is. 80 power suit like you, you have money and you don't care who knows it oh it's, it's like velvet the, it's there's gold <laughs> buttons it's so great. like i'm looking at it this again, is why i like, like fashion wow anyway so this is a 1980s burberry's um this is the alternative nova check so it isn't technically nova check but they do like a different versions of nova check so, i think it's sense. what they call country um and it is obviously the green and the blue very very like american christmas that's what it reminds me of um she wanted 50 pounds for it and we snapped it up like the the hounds we are yeah is that all day long um we'll be we'll be we'll be putting there for probably about three three and a half hundred pounds um yeah she said that there, she said that 
she saw one similar go for a hundred, so she wanted half of that price. Um, obviously, you're talking to the wrong peeps. She's um, very fair, though. Um, oh, she is so fair. She wants money for a charity, and that is all we care about too. So she, she also knows we're happy to kind of we're happy to work with her price wise. It, listen, we've just handed over what with two coats, eighty pounds. Yeah, you know, like. That's eighty pounds. Like they, with some of these more expensive items, I think what a lot of people don't understand when we when we kind of say, "Oh, it's a bit much. Is it too much? Is it too little?" Is from our point of view, obviously, we want to make money. By the same token, we're dropping eighty pounds on two items. They could stay there at fifty pounds, like that. Probably that uh, Moby one will for weeks and weeks and weeks. And she probably would have haggled with us, but I didn't think she, no, we needed to haggle. No need it to. was fair as fair as fair as fair, and we are gonna make some money. Let's do it. <laughs> 